Hey guys. <sighs> it is early. 7.33. Just got out of the shower. Ooh. You guys think that's good? I think that's good. It's a little distracting, but what I want to do is, like I said in my last video, and I haven't done it yet because I'm a slacker, probably try to check it out Wednesday, but to get the thing and the background to cover and it might help, but I think the lighting is good. Let's see if I can just adjust my camera. Nope, I can't adjust it enough to fully block it out. I'm sorry, guys. But I think this this is the best light that I've had. It's like it's good for me in here. It's good for you in there. So my nephew cleaned and organized my house yesterday, and I was a bad auntie and I forgot to give him his money. I'll give it to him today though. But he organized and put away everything I needed put away. Such a good boy. And look what I remember to grab. This one, this one is a mermaid palette. Hello makeup, hello cell phone, hello face in the mirror. I used to wonder, I'm like, why are they covering the mirror? What is the big deal? But stop the reflection. Because a lot of times, the big beauty YouTubers have like the lights and stuff, the, the diva ring lights or the mirror with the lights and stuff, and if they reflected it, it'd be like super like psh, blinding. So I'm going to use some of these colors today. I'm excited. I remember to grab it out of my bathroom. Ba boom Oh, 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 no. I will deal with that. Not right now. Let me do my video. I got distracted so easily. Oh. oh, he was not careful. My nephew has his own YouTube channel. Physics. It's one F I X A. I'll link it. But baby, you broke all my like. I know my brushes are cracked, but you got to be careful. Oh, and it's all over the highlighter. Well, I'll be using a different highlight today. You know, it's my own fault. I was not careful, as careful as I could have been when I depotted. I guess that just means that I need new blushes. some lip scents you guys because I really want to try it and we will review that together okay so I liked the highlight that I got well it's supposed to be a blush but it's actually a highlight that I got from Ipsy but I'm going to use one I got from my sister the Cindy Luminizer because this is just so pretty you guys so pretty it's really hard for it to come up on camera so this is the way it looks and it looks orangey not orangey it looks peachy golden peachy but it comes up and see it looks peachy there too of course not nope I don't have the proper light you guys I'm sorry but on my face, it's a, it's, it's like a, it's a pink. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, you guys. You know what? I'm going to use eyeshadow primer today. Oh, no. Nope, there they are. I'm like, where did you put my bag of brushes? Five minutes in and I haven't started because I'm still looking for everything. There we go. Because I 
because my nephew did such a good job cleaning. Yeah, and let's use the Their Real Mascara today. Is this the mascara? Oops. Yes. Yes. I haven't used this mascara yet. Where is what? Oh my goodness. I am just so lost. Oh. Oh. But I bought new, like, these flower pots that were on sale for $1.99 at Albertsons. I bought some. Um, oh, hey, look, that's what I want. I'm, I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of this to my foundation. Oh, oh there it is. Um, for brush bowls, brush pots. So, the brushes that aren't in my travel bag are a little bit more organized, which is cool. I don't know. The older I get, the more red my cheeks just stay. You guys have that issue? I don't know. I know this drives people crazy, but I'm a slacker. I'm a loser, baby, so I don't do it. Still my favorite, too dark. This Mary Kay is too dark. It's um, Ivory 5. But if I mix a little bit in, Then it's not too bad. And see, I like. I like that just enough coverage to cover the redness in my cheeks. Now, I have plenty of foundations that cover all my other issues, but like, I have to put tons of layers on my cheeks and it drives me nuts. But just wet and wild just softens that redness and I don't have to put a ton of layers. Like my Pro Matte and my Matte and Poreless because I'll mix those two foundations. Drag it down the neck, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have to layer that up around my cheek. Oh. Oh, no. I forgot to put my primer on, you guys. I'm going to have to make sure I use my blotting sheets today. It's going to be a greasy day. I got so excited to do my makeup because I haven't done my makeup in a week. Like, I, I only usually do my makeup, like, one, maybe two days a week now. Because I'm not wearing makeup to work. Was it last week? I forgot to set my face. I'm losing it, y'all. I'm losing it. That does look nice. It looks smooth. Other than my nose pores right here. See that? That's how I knew I forgot my primer. But we will prevail. 
We will prevail. Bum ba da mom. Actually, I don't think I don't really need under eye concealer today. Look at that. Mm, it's not bad at all. You know, I'm gonna st skip that layer because if I don't need the extra layer of makeup, why have it? That's something a lot of people. I mean, not. Who am I to judge how much makeup you want to wear, right? You wear what you want to wear. But if I don't have to do that extra step, that extra layer, I don't want to. But since I'm not. Since I'm not. This is too big of a brush for this area, but it's the first one I grabbed that I know I use for powder. Done. Now I'm going to try this bronzing thing. Just lightly. Hopefully in the right spot. It looks a lot harsher in my video than it does. I think part of my big issue is I was forgetting to tap my brush. Because I know that's the issue I was having with my blush is I was forgetting to tap. I need a little bit more on this side, guys. Um, I was forgetting to tap my brush. So class two of my master's program I'm in, which is super stressful, and it's mostly I make it stressful. My final paper is due a week before the final week, and it's 10 pages. But then my final week, I have a two-page paper I have to do too. So I've got, I gotta work on that. I have to get all of these sources and she wants 10 scholarly sources. Two have to be from a school's library. One can be the book, but that one from the book is not included in the 10. And it's like super stressful. I'm like, oh my God. I've gotten maybe two pages of that written. And it's due in a week, so I'm gonna work on that. But I'm like, really? I thought the final paper would be due the last week of school. And I've been trying to work on it, but you know, I, I have all those other papers that I have to write. all the other stuff I gotta do and I mean I need you to take a master's program they expect pull a little bit of kick up they expect a higher level and I have a friend of mine who's helping me and he's currently in a PhD program And he already has his master's. He's got a dual master's. So he was doing a lot more work at the same time than I am doing. And so like, I 
he's one of my best friends so like I talk to him all the time about it and like I feel bad because it's like okay he is getting his PhD okay and he did his dual masters <sighs> it's my own fault for waiting so long to do my masters but sometimes that happens Sometimes instead of going straight into school and your masters, you you live your life. Why? Because maybe you don't know what you want to do. Maybe you're not ready to pick what it is you want to do. And I wasn't. I'm not good at math, so I couldn't get an engineering degree. So, what color, what color? You know, I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna do a little bit of this burnt orange. And this blue, let's see what that gives me. Because of the fun colors I'm wearing today. It's not super picking up, but it's still pretty. Um, so like I feel like I don't really have room to complain when I'm talking to him, but it's hard. It's hard. The decision to go back to school was hard as well. Because when you're out of school for so long and then you decide you want to go back, it's scary, you guys. I graduated college in 2009 and got my bachelor's in 2009 and decided in 2016 I was going to go back to school. Like... That's scary. But I need to do more with my life. And I'm going to do more by going back to school. Now this is a blending brush, but it's the first one I grabbed. Do you know what? Makeup has no rules. Some people put eyeshadow on first. Some people put foundation on first. I'm a foundation first kind of girl. Because I never know what I want to put on my eyes until after I'm done. Because I think about it. I think about it. While I'm putting my foundation on. I take that time to debate whether I'm going to attempt a wing or even just subtle eyeliner. Oh, that's pretty, you guys. By the way, this is a Makeup Revolution palette. Super affordable. When I first got this palette, I wasn't super impressed. Um, first trying out, not super impressed. But the more I use it, the more I am impressed by it. And I bounce back and forth between a ton of Morphe brushes because I have the Morphe Me subscription. So I almost never put them into description. And they're all different. It's not like you see me get a fluffy blending brush and it's the same kind of fluffy blending brush. It's not. They're actually different because a Morphe Me subscription sends you different brushes every month. So they're different fluffy blending brushes or, or shadow packing brushes. Sapphire, what are you doing, baby? 
my kitty decided to join us. Oh my gosh, she's doing so good too. I don't have to lock her in the laundry room anymore at night. And I have some people, well, why are you locking her in the laundry room? Because this kitten, let me tell you guys, this kitten, she used to have, like, and literally just days, days ago, if I'd let her in my room at night, she'd have to sleep across my face or attack me he, under the covers like I'm in, under the covers and then she attacks me or constantly walking across me back and forth trying to get comfortable or whatever she's doing while I'm trying to sleep and I don't have a normal work day like most people I don't have a normal work week I work from 6 to 2. I have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't have weekends off. That's why you don't see these videos on a weekend unless I have an extended weekend. But when Mama goes to sleep. Mama needs to sleep. And baby won't let me sleep. So baby had to get locked in the in the laundry room. She's got her bed there. There is a bed there. Don't think I'm just locking her in a closet. Her food's in there on a platform. Her litter box is there. So she has all of her essentials there. And, and I have some of my friends, why don't you just shut your bedroom door? Okay, guys. They're real. Look at that brush. Um, if I shut my bedroom door, but don't lock her in the laundry room, she will stand at my door and attack my door, scratching it, clawing at it, and crying for hours. I'll just hear, meow, 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 and... Mama got to sleep. But if I put her in the laundry room, she does it for like a few minutes, then goes to bed. But last couple nights, she's been very calmly just sleeping at the foot of my bed. And I can handle that. She likes to wake me up an hour before my alarm goes off. But I can handle that. Sorry, I'm quiet, you guys. Sometimes we need to concentrate. I probably think it. It's weird. She started with the upper on that side, and now she's starting with the lower. Starting with the lower on this side, because I was already on the lower lash line on that one. So I just did the lower lash line on this side. I don't have super curly lashes. So I can do my upper lashes and do my lower lashes and it not touch. Not something I'm proud of because I don't have curly lashes. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling the extra effort, I'll get an eyelash curler. Now that I've figured it out how to properly use it, I'll get an eyelash curler and I'll use that. I don't know if you can see her on my lap, but Sapphire, oh there she is, Sapphire decided to join us. Cause she's needy and needs attention. Well, she's not a year old, so it's okay. Oh, I 
do like that they're, this makes them look super thick. Not like horrible clumpy thick. Oh, Sapphire, please don't butt my arm. But like thick. I like that. Okay, so thus far I like it. I got a pretty boring day. Um, gotta go get an AD card made. Alex is school, so I'm gonna go to the coffee shop and do my homework. Um. She had a slumber party with her cousins last night, so she didn't do an Alex show. So hopefully she'll do, we'll maybe do one tonight. Maybe we'll do one tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is the, well, once I put my lipstick on, which is in my purse, because I'm terrible at remembering to bring it while I do my videos. Sorry, guys. Um, I actually really like this, this look. This is a good look. Might be a little intense for some people, but hey whatever got my classic Lula roti just a pair of jeans and it's gonna be a day um, I'm gonna check in probably at the end of the night because just to see how it went cuz I forgot my primer my mattifying primer you guys um, but maybe maybe not I don't know we'll see thank you for joining me um, thank you for sitting through my long videos cuz I don't edit because well I don't have time to edit right now, nor do I have a video to edit, a, a program to edit, um, cause I don't. So thank you for joining me through this journey and seeing my makeup. Um, I had a bunch of makeup tutorials on a different channel, um, but I wanted to separate my makeup from my belly dancing. So if you have followed my other videos, that you have seen my trial and error in getting a decent face on. And it has been a long journey since last summer. Started doing makeup last June and I love it. Um, I think it enhances beauty, but women don't need it. We like it. For those of you guys out there thinking we're painting our faces cause we're trying to catch a man or we're trying to be someone we're not we paint our fences because we like it and it's fun it's fun to play with colors and textures and highlight and be shiny and just make ourselves feel good so I hate to burst your bubble gentlemen but if you think we're doing this for you think again still love ya we still need ya well some of us do some women super independent and some women don't need men at all but you do you, whatever floats your boat. Doing makeup floats mine. And hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.